balanced and feels just right. This car, engineered and built in Michigan, flat out feels better, is easier to drive quickly, and is more fun than the BMW M3 and the Mercedes AMG C63. German chassis engineering has met its match. The chassis righteousness and the joy it generates never diminish. It doesn't matter if you're plucking through a canyon road, banging on a racetrack, or humming straight down I-5 with the cruise set at 75. But while the chassis is delightful, a dull interstate drive is when the interior's dissonance begins to annoy. A mishmash of materials, textures, and finishes, it has all the restraint and editing of a Mardi Gras float. Optional, $2,300 Recaro chairs absent on our photo car, which also lacked the $6,195 track performance package of the ATSV. We ran numbers on our supportive and look great, but don't examine them too closely or you might notice that the leather is pulling away. And make sure that you spec the $300 micro sway draft steering wheel or you'll get a leather covering that might as well be vinyl. Beyond the steering wheel are gauges that are more appropriate for a Chevy Cruze, Lexus did better gauges 25 years ago. At least the large rectangular information display is a better balance of form and function. The same can't be said of the large touchscreen infotainment system, dubbed Q. Often unresponsive and difficult to operate at speed, the screen actually manages complex commands like entering a destination into the optional navigation system with well thought out logic. What ends up annoying is the stuff you do constantly, like adjusting the volume with the touch sensitive slider or changing radio stations or tracks. Functions that should require a quick tap of the screen end up requiring two, three, or a punch. Meanwhile, you've wandered onto the rumble strips.